Hello everybody, welcome to the most boring video on Google Stadia in the internet. Now I'm gonna use my high speed military experience to show you guys my very special PowerPoint presentation on the basics of Google Stadia. There is one point that I'm trying to make with this video. It's gonna be very subtle, but let me know if you catch it. As soon as you do, go ahead and let me know on the comment section below. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna name this Google Stadia 101. Now I'm making this in May, 2022. After a month, two months, a year, two years, all this information might change. So just keep that in mind. All right, we're gonna start out with the three options that we have with Google Stadia, all right? Those being the play for free. So this is one of the options that you get where you can just go into Google Stadia and play the games that are available for free. You can also buy games in the Google Stadia store. So the last option would be subscribing to the Stadia Pro library. All right, so let's start out with what is Google Stadia? If you haven't heard of Google Stadia, which a lot of you out there have not, this is gonna be a super simple explanation. Google Stadia is a gaming platform like PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. And because I have a Nintendo Switch here and I don't have a PlayStation or an Xbox, I'm gonna try to use some of the Nintendo Switch features to compare it to uh, Google Stadia. So Google Stadia, it's in the cloud, kind of like YouTube and Netflix. So the biggest thing and the only thing I mentioned about the technology is that you are playing these video games in Google Stadia in the Google servers, and they're just feeding you the video like they do a YouTube video. And so essentially what you're doing is pushing a bunch of buttons in your little desk or couch or bed or wherever you're playing video games they get sent to the google servers and then they send you back the feed of your gameplay simple as that okay and now i launched in november 19 2019 so it's about to be three years old it's a toddler still so there's a lot of things that still are to come and hopefully we can all get excited about those things that are coming and like a lot of Google software and application, it's free. So it's really easy to get. And when I say free, I mean free, free, like free. When you look at a PlayStation or an Xbox or a Nintendo Switch, unless somebody gave you that console, uh, you gotta buy it. And so basically Google is giving you this free console. It just happens to be in the clouds. And just to make sure that we all got it, seriously. It's free. So in the military, we do a lot of uh, check on learning when we do our classes. I was an instructor for 16 years, and this is one of the key things that we get tested on uh, as we did our classes. So a little really quick, fast check on learning. Is Google Stadia free? <laughs> okay, you know the answer for that. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and start talking about the first option, which is play for free. The very first thing that you're going to need is a Gmail account. You can't play any games on uh, Stadia without a Gmail account. You need internet. Obviously, it's in the cloud. So if you want to watch YouTube, you need internet. If you want to watch Netflix, you need internet. If you want to play games on Stadia, you need internet. And you also need a screen. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, you most likely are able to play Stadia. So you need a screen. And that's it. That's all you need. Go three things and you can get started the caveat with the gmail account is that at this current time you can only play time trials with the gmail account but if you want to get into the actual free to play games or if you want to buy games or if you want to get a subscription into stadia pro then you would need a stadia account which you would be able to get for free with a gmail account so let's talk about the basics of play for free as i just mentioned you need a gmail account to be able to create a stadia profile so that would be the first step so once you have a stadia profile there's basically no time limits. There's a few games that you can play for free, no time limits, you can play as much as you want. The only exception for the time limits is on these time trials, which is basically something that Stadia offers for those that are curious about a game, but they aren't ready to buy the game. And so I'll talk about those in a little bit. So for Stadia, because everything's in the cloud, you don't need downloads, you don't need to update. One of the frustrating things with my Switch is that every time that I feel like playing, let's say Fortnite or a lot of those server-based games, there's constant updates and downloads that I have to keep doing. If I'm in my car waiting for something and I wanna play it, the only internet that I generally have is my phone, which is kind of slow and I sometimes can't even download those. So with Stadia, there's no downloads, no updates. It all gets done automatically while, you know, in the Google servers. You can get up to 1080p resolution. It depends on your screen. It depends on your uh, hardware, like your phone or your computer, but you can get up to 1080p resolution, which is pretty good. You do not 
need to subscribe so again you do not need to subscribe now google has done a very bad job with this part right here that's the main reason that i'm making this video because there's a lot of confusion about it if you go to stadia.com you're going to see a little button that says sign up or something like that and then it's going to try to get you to do the free month but you don't have to do that PUBG is one of the games that's available on stadia for free bomberman is another one super animal royale is another one so there's a bunch of them that you can just search in google pubg stadia link and it'll pop up you just click on that link it'll take you to a page where you link your gmail account to stadia and then once you do that you put all your privacy stuff you pick a, a gamer name then you're good to go you can be able to play pubg or super animal royale or any of those uh, free to play games 100 percent for free without having to put any credit card information without having to sign up for stadia pro so you do not need to be subscribed to be able to play stadia for free okay just remember that if you have trouble with that just send me or leave me a comment and then uh, i can help you out in fact i'm gonna leave a link to the PUBG Play link down in the description. Now let's talk about availability. Like I said, Stadia is not even three years old, so it's not available everywhere. These are the countries that it is available in. It's United States, Canada, we got United Kingdom, France, Italy, Germany, Austria, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Denmark, Norway, Finland, Belgium, Ireland, Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Romania, Hungary. These are the countries that right now are supported by Stadia because there's obviously way more countries than this. When you're talking about limited availability or no uh, availability at all, there's a couple options you have. A good example is me. So I live in Hawaii. Technically, if you look, go to the Stadia uh, website, there is no support for Stadia in Hawaii. Now I can access it. I can sign up. I have a Gmail account. I can buy games because it's all digital. But if I want to buy a controller which i managed to get a bunch of them as you can see there's a bunch right there too i have to either buy them use online or get somebody that lives in the mainland to send them to me and i guess that's what they mean by not being supported but anyways i can still play it i still get really good quality i still get really good experience with it i'm not sure why they don't support it but hawaii and guam aren't supported puerto rico and alaska are which is interesting so access or the quality will vary depending on the internet connection so even though it is available in the u.s if you're somewhere where there's a very weak internet signal you might not get the best quality or you might even get kicked out you don't really need the the best internet out there i have been able to play on my phone in the middle of the woods during my military training and still be able to get uh 720p on my phone so it doesn't have to be the best internet it just has to be a certain minimum i went on a trip last year to mexico and i was able to access stadia but because my internet was very weak i kept getting kicked out and there were some games that i wasn't able to play because it would recognize my ip and it said okay you're in mexico this game is not allowed to be played in mexico but i was still able to play a lot of the games uh when the internet signal was good now you can use vpns i've used vpns here in hawaii just to see the difference and it's actually worse for me with the vpns but it might be different for you depending on what kind of services you have around you hopefully you're watching this video 10 years from now and stadia is everywhere what do you get with stadia when you're playing for free you get free to play games there's seven of them right now i mentioned a few of them uh, earlier there are 15 time trials so that means that you can buy the game but if you're not ready to buy the game you get 30 minutes to up to two hours some games uh, to be able to play the game the biggest thing you need to remember with those is if you start the trial play 10 minutes and leave that trial keeps going let's say you want to play a game for two hours but you don't have two hours to play it don't start it pick something that's 30 minutes so that, that way you don't burn your three minutes while you're going to the bathroom or getting a drink or something there's four demos so free to play basically these developers created a really short version of that game for you to play and you can play it as many times as you want you can beat it over and over again most of them are about 30 minutes that's two hours right there you can play family sharing remember so i'm going to use uh, the switch again as an example so i have the switch here it's only four in my family me my wife and my two daughters but i can put up to eight so i can put four friends or whatever that's good right that's a good thing uh xbox probably has it or playstation probably has it the difference is that with the switch my wife and me cannot play the same switch at the same time you understand what i'm saying because you can only have one profile active at the time because you only have this one screen right so i can have eight profiles but only one person can play it at the same time with google stadia for example i have the main 
main account and my wife only one of my daughters has an account the other one's too young so she's gonna get her own account soon but i can have all three of them under my account and they have access to all of my games now my daughters are young so they don't have access to the mature rated games but my wife has access to all the games that i have so let, let's say we want to play a multiplayer game and i want each of them to play at the same time we can play the free to play games so of the seven right there we can all play those games at the same time because they don't need to buy those games it's free for everybody but if they want to play a game that i purchased and it's in my account you won't be able to do that let's say i start playing immortals phoenix rising which is a game that i completed and i bought it and so if my daughter jumps into her account and she starts to play that game she's either going to get a message that says somebody's playing that game already you're not you can't play it or i haven't done it that's why so i don't know i'm not super sure or it's gonna kick me out and get, let and have her game start up. As long as the game is available in each of the profiles, like the free to play games, then everybody can play that game at the same time. Uh, we actually just finished doing that yesterday with Crater, which is a free to play game that me and my daughter were playing in. I was playing on my computer, she was playing in her Chromebook and we had lots of fun. <laughs> set the guy as dry as possible <laughs> now another feature is private and public parties i can get up to 10 people in a private party so that we can all hear ourselves think discord right so we can all hear each other we can play the same game different games it doesn't matter public party you start up a party and anybody up to 10 people who can just join you some random people they go in there okay party there's a public party right here okay let me get in most of the time people already play uh put the game that they're playing so that way if they need somebody to join them in that game if it's a multiplayer game then they can just jump in hey you guys mind if i join in oh no no here's the invite and they can invite you to that game there's a friend list obviously if you want to invite somebody to this uh to the pr private or public parties you need to be able to have a friend list so that you can pick them and and send them invites you can also chat so if you're ask if you're not sure if somebody wants to play with you you can just send a chat message hey man i'm available right now you want to play and then they can say yes you create a party you invite them you send them a, a game invite and boom ready to go and social media you're sharing it. I'll do a little bit more of an explanation on this uh, later, but you can take screenshots. So I have a phone, uh, controller right here. There's a screenshot button, right? So as soon as I tap it, it'll take a picture. If I hold it, it'll save the last 30 seconds. So let's say I'm playing and something crazy happens. As soon as I recognize it's something worth recording, I hold the screen capture button and it'll save the last 30 seconds which should be enough if you just finish reacting to it it should be enough for, to be able to capture that so that's one of the social features and uh stadia specific features what did i call the last one standard okay so the last one was standard features and the, the reason that standard is because most other consoles have that okay so these are specifically stadia features so youtube direct stream so if you want to be a streamer and you want to play games on youtube you can literally just grab your phone launch a game and start streaming from your phone there's a little trick you can do but you can do it from your desktop you can do it from your tv because remember youtube is google right and you need a gmail account to start a youtube account you need a gmail account for a stadia account and so they're all interconnected they're all the same big uh, company and so all you have to do is link your stadia account to your youtube account and you can start streaming like that fast you don't need software you don't need a camera a microphone you don't even need a microphone but obviously you want to be able to talk some people do other people don't so crowd choice is one of the stadia specific features and what that is if you're streaming a game right there's a way for you to select crowd choice or one of these stadia features so that while you're playing your viewers get like a little survey of maybe which which weapon you, you're allowed to get or which monster is supposed to come and get you and so they choose that feature from that game boom 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 a few seconds go by whatever the most voted item is that's what you get there's six games that have that feature right now they're pretty fun that way it, it allows your viewer to join you in that game even if they're not playing that game with you speaking of crowd play allows uh so what remember you're doing uh direct streaming actually you can use a software to stream and you can still select that uh feature so that when somebody's watching that, that stream, if you're using this feature, they'll get a button that says play with the streamer or play along. And they can click on that and they're, they're going to put in a queue. As soon as their turn is up, they come in to the game, they play with you. The game ends and the next person comes in. So that's super cool. And again, there's 10 games. Stream Connect. So there's six games that can allow you, allow you to do this. So that's a feature where if you're playing, let's say, The Division 2, right? Or Far Cry 6. If you're playing this 
game with a friend you can actually have a little small window on the bottom left or bottom right where you can see what your friend is looking at and the reason you can do that is because both of your guys game are in the Google servers so they're re really they're only talking to themselves and then they send you that feed and so you can see if it's you and like two or three friends you can see the three friends stream right in your window which is super cool and it's really fun especially if it's one of those chaotic games where you kind of need to know where all your people are at before you set up a, set off a bomb or something like that so that's a really fun feature state share so remember we talked about this uh screen capture there are nine games in stadia and the stadia store hitman is one of them right so let's say you're playing hitman and it's a really difficult mission and you keep trying to do that mission and you keep trying and you just can't get it you can hold that button it'll create this clip and then you can share that clip with your friends and be like hey can you try to beat this and let me know how you did it or you can mess up the game so much like let's say you're supposed to be stealthy otherwise you got all these enemies that are going to try to get you or whatever you can just make a ruckus have all those enemies after you and then save it and it's sent to your friend and see if they can get, if they can get out of it that's a really cool feature so there's also free to play weekends i say weekends but sometimes they're a week long but a lot of the times they start off on friday and then you can play all the way up to monday 100 for free it's almost like a free to play just for that limited time and if you can beat that game in those four days then you don't have to buy the game you can just you know get it done you know thank you so let's let's move on to the next one so that's a really cool feature it happens a lot actually so sometimes the game is only available for pro subscribers which i guess they have to have an incentive for you to be able to get into the pro subscription but you don't have to be there you don't have to be subscribed you can just wait for one of these free play weekends in the meantime you either buy really cheap games or you play the free to play games i think i got almost 300 hours of PUBG alone phone link i showed you my controller but let's say you don't have a controller and then you want to play on your tv because your tv you know can stream stadium or you want to play on your computer but you don't want to do keyboard and mouse you can actually use any of the controllers like xbox playstation i even tried the switch controllers or you can use the google app which i'll talk about in a second not the google app i'm sorry the stadia app and then you can connect to the stadia servers using your phone and you can use it as a controller i'm i have really big fat hands and fingers so I, i'm not the best at using uh, touch controls so i don't really use that feature i have and that's why i know i'm not good at it but you can if you want to connect your phone to stadia and play it with your phone like a controller like this right and on top of that the next feature is controller tethering i don't know the official name for it I, it just kind of escaped me but all i have to do is take for example this playstation controller connect the cable to my phone after i did the phone link and it'll recognize the inputs and i can play stadia with the playstation controller let's say on the tv or on a tablet or if you let's say you have a disability where you're not able to use a regular controller or, or touch controls you can connect a specific controller like maybe a controller where you can use you kind of like big uh, buttons with your feet and your hands and you can con connect that to your phone and it'll work the same way stadia software not, there's not a lot of stadia software but i threw this in here because uh, i just wanted to clarify there's different ways you can play i think the most common one is the android app if you want to buy the games on your phone you don't have to anymore but in the beginning you had to use your phone app for almost everything they kind of went away from that an android app is necessary to connect to your tv to buy games if you're only playing stadia on your tv to connect or update your controllers so you have to have the android app you can also do it on, a, on an iphone using the web app so safari you just go to stadia.com and you're able to do all the things in fact when that app came up that's when you were no longer tied to the stadia app if that made any sense so up to then you had to use the android app for a lot of the things a lot of these features but when that came out you can start doing like direct streams things like that without having the, the actual app just going online and chrome extension so you can use chrome to play, play stadia you can actually uh, use the microsoft uh, internet explorer you can use uh, opera you can use any of these basically anything that can access the internet there are some chrome extensions that i'm familiar with that i use for example stadia enhance and that just kind of lets you see the nerdy stuff like the stream management so how how, how fast your internet is so uh, frame rates you can actually add filters to it if you want to sharpen it more but those are not from stadia or google there's just chrome uh, extensions that somebody made just so you know they're out there all right so let's go back to uh, check on learning how free is google stadia so how free is it it is 
100% free because the only thing you have to have is a Gmail account as far as on the Google side and uh, those are free. Let's go ahead and move on. Buy games, buying games or the Stadia store basic. So all the stuff that I just talked about, all uh, I don't even know how long I've been recording for, all that is 100% free no money zero now we're talking about buying games because if you decide that okay i got tired of these seven free games i did the four demos i did the 15 trials i need more i want more there's approximately 290 games that you can um, buy on the stadia store that's a lot of games remember it's not it's not even three years old so you can kind of kind of rough estimate four more months it'll be three years so that's like over 100 games a year when you compare it to steam or epic maybe that's not a lot of games but for somebody who wasn't a gamer before i uh, discovered stadia 290 games i have 192 right now so I, there's still almost 100 games that i don't have access to because i'm cheap all the games that you own you can buy add-ons uh, add-ons i've gotten a bunch of add-ons that are completely free for whatever reason i don't know if it's the developer or stadia they just drop add-ons that are free zero dollars and then you can go in there and claim them so i've done a, a bunch of those i've bought a few uh, for games that i really really like there's always discounts all the time there's discounts if you go to stadia.com uh right now get to the store there's going to be a bunch of discounts a lot of people say the games on stadia are expensive because you have to stream them and they shouldn't be full price okay fine that's your argument but there's a lot of discounts on there so you don't have to buy them full price you just gotta wait you just gotta be patient there's redeem uh redeem codes so some of the developers will drop redeemable codes for their games some of the stadia content creators which they're all featured in my channel sometimes Times a giveaway redeemable codes i got from and now your mama knows aka cowboy a free redemption code for math streets i won it and then i was able to join their tournament there's 10 exclusive games on stadia so they're only on stadia obviously when you compare it to 290 uh games it doesn't seem like a lot but there are ex exclusives there there's first on stadia titles so games that used to be exclusive to stadia are now uh available in other platforms like Creda is now available in the epic store but it was originally only on stadia if you have a ubisoft subscription which on stadia allows you to get 21 games for 17.99 per month those games automatically get added to your library okay so you go to ubisoft.com you can sign up for the ubisoft plus account there's a 14.99 version that won't let you have access to cloud gaming on luna and stadia but there's a 1799 uh, subscription here in the u.s that will allow you to access those games and we're talking about 21 total games because there's so many discounts right now there's only three four games that i haven't bought that are part of the ubisoft plus and so if you don't have any of those 1799 is, is a really good deal especially if you're somebody that can complete games because you can probably complete a bunch of them in a month and then you know be done with it for me because i didn't have ubisoft and then i saw all these discounts i ended up buying most of them if you buy a game and then you play it for an hour and 59 minutes and you say you know what i don't like this game you can refund it you can get your money back try not to get so close to an hour and 59 minutes because you never know if there's a game that you're kind of curious about but you're not 100 percent buy it play it for an hour hour and a half and then if you don't like it just refund it hardware we're going to talk a little bit about hardware i showed you my controller already being in hawaii every time that i make an order from the google store for stadia it gets canceled every time so i have a friend that works for google and i got her to give me some controllers and stuff in fact i have like a brand new version of the premiere edition right there that i haven't opened I had to get those shipped from California. So you would have to go to the Google store, go to the smart home tab on the top. And then there's a button that says gaming. Just click on that and then you'll be able to find these. So the founder edition is no longer available. That was only available to the people that signed up for Stadia before it launched. That came with the uh, Chromecast Ultra and a, I forget the name of the color, but it's like a navy blue, which I bought used. It's the third one, you probably can't see it. Can see it right there so that's the founder's edition even though i'm not a founder I, I, I found somebody who wanted to sell it online and i bought it from them the premiere edition i just showed you a new version and i showed you this is the first one that i ever got they were on sale for 22 22 on the two-year anniversary originally they were like 130 dollars and now i think you can get them for like 100 bucks and it comes with the stadia controller the white one and then it comes with a chromecast ultra which has a power cable that you can connect an ethernet to that's what you can put it on your tv 
TV. You can put it on your, uh, if you have a capture card on your computer, you can plug it into that. Then you have the play and watch with Google TV, but it's basically the same controller with the Google TV. It's a little white dongle with a small remote. I prefer the Chromecast Ultra because as soon as I turn on a controller that's linked to that uh, Chromecast Ultra, the TV goes on, Stadia comes up, and then I'm ready to go. With the Google TV, you have to go kind of click to the app, launch it, and then you have to go and get the code for the controller so you can connect the controller to me is a little bit more troublesome it looks better on the google tv but man, to each his own and there's four different controllers so the blue one that you can't get anymore unless somebody sells it to you for, uh, online or gives it to you there's the white which i just showed you there's the wasabi which is my favorite and 99.9 percent .9 of stadia fans the wasabi is a really pretty green and then there's the black one i think it's clear uh just black and then the clearly white there's a clip that goes on your controller you put your phone on it it's only good for uh, for phones you can't put tablets on it and there's also third-party tvs lg is the biggest one i think samsung is coming out with uh, stadia approved tvs so you can find those everywhere i think if you have any lg tv that came out within the last couple of months you should be able to install the stadia app on it i think a lot of those tvs have uh, bluetooth support but i'm not 100 percent. and then the bonus app this is just something that i added because i realized that there's a connection right here and i wanted to make sure that everybody knew about it google play that's what you use to pay for the games or at least your google balance and when you buy a game it'll give you credits on google play if you get buy enough games and get enough credits you can convert those credits into cash in your google pay account and then you can buy more games it's like a reward thing speaking of the other one is the google rewards that's an actual app that you can get on the google store you can just get random survey questions when you answer them you get like 10 cents here 15 cents there i think the <clears throat> the most i ever got was like a dollar and like 10 cents but since i've been using it uh, years already probably four or five years i've gotten over 250 dollars just by 10 cents 50 cents you know a dollar here and there so that's another one you want to look at so let's do one more check on learning we have two more this one and one more so how much is google stadia do you guys remember i mentioned it earlier how much is google stadia you got it okay ready it is 3.99 100% free no money free 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 right <laughs> good job and so <laughs> The last option that you have with Google Stadia is Stadia Pro. Stadia Pro, that's a subscription. You don't have to subscribe. This is only if you want to subscribe, okay? Stadia Pro. And so why would you want to subscribe, right? You have a bunch of subscriptions, Netflix, Disney Plus. If you're a gamer, you probably have PlayStation Now. You probably have Xbox Ultimate Pass or Game Pass or whatever it's called. Nintendo has a subscription service that I'm paying for it and I'm not even using. But with all the subscriptions available out there, why would you want Stadia Pro? So let's talk about the basics. First. maybe that'll help you decide you need a credit card because the subscription service so they need to charge you for that service even if you get one or two months free at some point when those expire they need to charge you for the additional months if you go to stadia.com and you have remember that button i told you about if you subscribe for the free month you have to put in your credit card information but you can literally cancel your account immediately after you launch it and you still get the free month and then once that month expires then you don't have access to the whatever pro games you claimed most people are kind of skeptical of subscription because they forget to cancel them and next thing you know you're paying for something months and months and you don't you're not even using it if you just want the free month sign up which credit card. you can even use like one of those temporary credit cards right cancel it immediately and you still have a full month that you can play now you can get multiple months additional free months uh, one way is there's a link under description with my referral code if you use that instead of the stadia.com you know uh, sign up you get two months you can sign up cancel it immediately and then you get two months before it ends and then if you pay for that next month then i get a free month so that'd be cool if you could do that so consider that but let's say you do decide to stay and i get the free month right well you get your own referral code so you can recommend it to your friends just tell them hey here use this you get two free months and then if they decide to stay uh, longer then you get a free month so that would be three free months if you do that Okay, so just keep that in mind. After all the free months expire, it's going to be $9.99 per month, which isn't crazy. I guess it depends on how serious of a gamer you are. If you're a real hardcore gamer, $10 is nothing. You probably buy a game for $10 every other day. But if you're a casual gamer, once in a while plays, maybe it's not worth for you. So you just stay to the free version. So that's really up to you. When you go, go into the Stadia Pro subscription, you're going to get access to a bunch of games. Claim all of them. All of them. Because, you know, you might not be interested in a game, but and you're young right now, you don't 
don't have any kids, but let's say next year, two years from now, you have kids or you have to wait until they get older. Bad analogy, but let's say you have uh, nephews or grandparents or whatever, they can play those games that you have access to using your account or your family plan. Does that make sense? So that's just the basics, right? The Stadia Pro features, this is what you're paying for, okay? This is what those $10 go for. On top of the claim games, this is what you get. Up to 4K 60 frames per second for supported devices and games. So most TVs, if you're using the Chromecast Ultra, you get 4K 60 frames. I have a really old computer. I can only get 1080. My phone is pretty old, so I can only get 720 or 1080. 5.1 surround sound. So if you have a nice little gaming room, that'll be nice hdr so, so you notice that some games get a really a, a, kind of too dark in cer certain areas too bright in certain areas so hdr kind of helps you balance that and so that way you're not squinting or trying to figure out what's going on you get killed because you can't see where the bad guy is so hdr is pretty cool you get pro discounts so remember you get regular discounts and then on top of those discounts you can get pro discounts so let's say a game is 60 dollars and it's on sale for 30 dollars it might be on even a steeper of a sale for pro members at like 20 or something like that. So remember I talked about free to play weekends where well, you can get free to play weekends specifically for pro members. Sometimes, you know, you have a game, but your friend doesn't or your friend has a game and you don't have it. So you can't join. So these free to play weekends is on the weekend. So most people are, have time off on the weekends. You can just like be like, hey man, we got this game that's available this weekend. You want to jump in, try to beat it or something. And then you can do that. Okay, so let's talk about the Stadia Pro games. Okay, so right now, if you sign up for a the Stadia Pro subscription link below two months you got 51 games that you can claim if you claim all those games and then the 30 and then the free month ends you won't be able to access them but let's say you're like you know what I kind of like Stadia let's let me go back to that and you pay for it again those 51 games are going to be available to you again if you were a founding member so since Stadia launched in 2019 until now you paid every month ten dollars and you claimed every game that's 144 games that you have access to even if you cancel it and go back I have 192 so that means I bought Ooh, don't tell my wife this let's not do the math for that okay so now we got new games on the first of the month that's normally when the new stadia pro games come out but occasionally you'll get surprise drops this month we got cities skylines as a surprise drop i think it was a may middle of the month and so that's a really good game i mean we knew it was coming but we didn't know when it was going to come when it did came everybody was surprised that it was a pro game so it's cool notice a new game drops and every stadia content creator starts streaming it and you can join their games and have fun with them and create you know get your friends from there it's pretty fun i think this is our last check on learning how many games are available on stadia pro today i'll give you a quick second we just saw the slide give you a quick second think about that how many games are available on stadia pro today it doesn't matter okay because stadia is free and the fact that you can play on a free console with free games and any screen that you have available with relatively okay internet is amazing it's amazing that's it if you guys have any questions any comments any rebuttals if i forgot something if you're a hardcore stadia fan and you felt i forgot something or i misrepresented something make sure you leave it on the comment section below so everybody can see it questions also so i can answer those questions so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did enjoy this go ahead and hit that like button because it would help this channel out tremendously if you're not a subscriber because i think like 80 percent of my uh, viewers unsubscribed make sure you subscribe okay i'm gonna i plan to do more videos like this kind of using my 16 years of instructor experience to try to get this information out i'm in hawaii so it's gonna be a weird schedule for most of you guys but i try to stream mondays wednesdays and fridays on this channel at 9 p.m my time which is 1 a.m pacific 3 a.m eastern <laughs> hopefully you're in europe and you got some time in the morning you can join me for some of those streams my schedule should be changing pretty soon so just subscribe hit that bell so you see the little the little notifications on the side so that when i do change my schedule you have a notification that lets you know that i went live so you can join me or when i drop new videos that's it hope you enjoyed bye oh that did not work at all <laughs> this is an embarrassing